All right, the first thing we're gonna do is come over to our wrench and go to Canvas and to Drawing Guide. And we wanna edit this drawing guide. And since it's a 12 by 12 at 300 DPI, we're gonna go ahead and make four segments just by saying inches. And we want those inches to be three so that you get four squares. And then we're gonna go ahead and tap done and done. All right, and the reason we've done that is because I just wanna keep an eye on the center square here. And we're going to make sort of a little circle that just kind of overlaps just a little bit uh, around that square. So now let's go ahead and choose our brush that we made uh, from a previous video. And we're selecting that and let's see what size do I want. That seems about right. And also I'm going to be using the fall 2022 palette that I made in the video just prior to this. I kind of like that orange. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and lay down our first leaf just right here. Okay. And I think I want that a little bit bigger, so I'm going to go ahead and stretch that out just a bit. I'm going to turn it sort of sideways like that. So I'm going to make that just even a little bit bigger. I want the leaf a little bit bigger, but I actually don't want all of that stem. So what I'm going to do is select my or choose my selection tool here and make sure that color fill is off. And then I'm going to select freehand and I'm just going to select out a part that I don't want. Yeah, there we go. OK, so now that I've got all these selections, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and do a three finger drag to get the copy and paste menu and then I'm just going to cut. And oh yes, I like that. A little bit smaller stem like that so I can place these things around. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let me go ahead and select my move and transform tool. I'm just going to bring this down sort of, eh, let's see, do I want it centered? Yeah, let's start with it centered. That looks pretty good. Okay, and now let's go ahead and just duplicate that. We're going to gently slide that layer over and tap duplicate. And then going back to our move tool, we're going to move this up and I'm going to change the size just a little bit and I'm going to just kind of look for a nice little channel in between the two. So the white space and I'm just going to not too much, but just a little bit over the edge right there. OK, let's do this again. We're going to duplicate that next leaf and we're going to grab the move and transform tool. And then I'm actually going to flip this one horizontally just so it gives it a different look. And then I'm going to move it around sort of like that. Oh, I like that. OK. But just trying to keep sort of the same distance in between the leaves here. That's what I'm looking at right now. But I think it's too regular in its size. So I think I'm going to bring the size down just a little bit and kind of tuck it in there just like that. Awesome. I like that. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And you just kind of play along with this, just, you know, adjusting as you go. We're not, it's not really after perfection. We're just kind of looking for, uh, you know, sort of a bit of randomness as, as leaves might be like, I want to make that go up, I think, but also just kind of adjusting as you go, because you'll find as you lay down the leaves that you want it to look a little different or something like that. And that's totally fine. I'm going to go back to this leaf right here and I'm going to go ahead and make it go up just a little bit like that. Okay. Now it's looking a little bit too square to me. So now I'm going to bring this top leaf down a bit like something like that. So it's more of a roundish shape. There we go. All right. Now I'm feeling like I need a bigger leaf down there in the bottom. So I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to flip again and let's move that down and I'm going to make it bigger. Ooh, and yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Okay. And then we're just going to keep going around. And this pattern is called a toss, well, often called a toss pattern. And I like that. It just seems to suit what's going on. Okay, let's see. Mm hmm. Now this is getting a little bit uh, tricky right in here to kind of keep the, the channel in between the same. That's pretty good, but I kind of feel, yeah, maybe I want to do that. Okay, and maybe put a smaller one right in there. Let's just see. Yeah, something like that. That's cute. I like that. Okay. And then just going to continue on here um, with my duplication and placement. And now I'm going to make this one bigger. And let's see, do I want it to go that direction or do I want it to start going up this way? Maybe a little bit like that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And I think maybe one more leaf. Okay, now let's see, how many do I have here? Let me just check. So we have two, five, 
eight, nine. Okay, it's an odd number, that's great. Okay, so this is a great place to start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and gently select, so I've got one selected, I'm gently sliding all the other layers and dropping them so that I can select them all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and group this. And then um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the group just by gently sliding it and tapping duplicate. And I'm going to turn off my original group in case I want to change something or reuse it in some other way. And now I'm going to go through here and this, this new group that I've created, I'm going to use my finger to grab the top layer and my thumb to grab the bottom layer and I'm going to pinch these all together to merge them. And then I'm going to take this and take it outside of the group and I'm just going to go ahead and gently slide that group over and delete it. There we go. So we still have our original group and now we have a merged layer of all the others. Okay, so this is great. Now, now we're ready to start playing with this. So we're going to make a few copies here. I'm going to preserve one just so I don't accidentally get rid of it. <laughs> so I'm going to create one copy by duplicating and then I'm going to make invisible this one. And now this is the one we're going to play with. So we're going to make three more copies here. So gently slide it over and then we're going to get ready to place this. Okay, so on this top layer, we're just going to go ahead and select, select our move and transform tool. And I should say now that I have snapping on, just snapping, not magnetics, with a distance of three. And the distance of three is the default, and that's what I want. So now I'm taking this top layer and I'm just going to move it up. And I am looking to keep it in the center. And then I'm going to uh, take the center dots of that layer and, and line them up. So I'm looking for my golden line. So the golden line's here and a golden line in the center. And when I, get, I have that, I'm going to go ahead and let go. And I'm going to commit that. Okay, now the next layer down, we're gonna move that to the bottom, doing sort of the same thing. So we're looking for the middle dots in the layer. We want this to line up and then we want it to be centered. So we're looking for, there we go, the golden line. So golden line here, golden line there. Okay. Now we're gonna take the next layer, I'm gonna move it left. So move and transform tool. And we're keeping it centered horizontally now and we're going for the middle dots of the layer here. Okay. There, oops, no, nope. there we go, just like that. Okay, and then the last bottom layer here, right here, we're gonna move that over. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Looking for that other golden line, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead and start filling in the center here, and then we're gonna move those out to the corner. So let's, let's go ahead and create a new layer on top here. Okay. And then we still have our leaf selected. So let's go ahead and tap in the center there. We want this to be bigger. And again, I'm just looking to keep this sort of, you know, in relation to the channels kind of that are going on here. I just want to keep that, that, that happening. So it's about the same size in between and that looks pretty good. Oh, but I do need to take off the stem. I, I used a new leaf here, so that's, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and uh, over to our selection freehand and just kind of take off that tail the way we did last time. Perfect. Okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and duplicate that and just kind of place it. And again, kind of keeping in mind that we want different sizes so that there's a bit of randomness to this uh, because it helps with the effect actually. But let's see, I think I want this to point down in here. Okay, now that looks all pretty random. It looks like you know we've got some good uh, space in there. So now we want to take this and put it into our corners. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pinch these all together. Finger up here, our index, and our thumb down at the bottom here. Again, I'm going to preserve this in case something happens. So I'm going to create a duplicate. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make. We're going to need five of these all together. So we're going to go ahead and create. Duplicate one, two, three, and four. Okay, and now with this top one, we're gonna bring this over to our corner over here, our top corner, and we're just gonna put it right in there. Um, we're looking to line it up, whoops. 
There we go. We want the cross lines right there. So we, we're looking to put the dots on the sides, just like that. Okay. Okay, you take the next one and we're going to take it over to the top over here. And again, we're just looking for, whoops, the two dots on our sides and then we're going to get the cross golden lines there. Okay. And then the next one, bringing that down and same deal here and looking for this. There we go. Cross lines. And then we're down to the last one here. Okay doing the same thing. So it's actually pretty easy. There's just a bit of repetition. That's probably the hardest part is remembering where you are. And there we go. So now let's go ahead and test this pattern to make sure that it actually, you know, doesn't look like there's any gaps or anything that are obvious. We want this to truly look seamless. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our very top layer. And then we're going to come over to our wrench and tap add and then copy canvas and paste and this will take everything that's on the canvas and create a new layer and it pasted on the very top because that's where we left our we left um, this last top layer highlighted so it'll put it right above the last highlighted layer there okay and then we're going to go over to the three dots here so tap them and then select the split screen over to our pine cone and pencil seamless pattern and i will leave the link in the description below for that Okay, and then we're just gonna take that top layer and we're gonna grab it and drag it and drop it right in here to the uh, pattern checker. And it just takes a moment to load it up. And oh, this looks like a great pattern. Okay, so this is, this is great. This is a wonderful leaf toss pattern. Thanks very much and I hope your day is amazing.